what's up guys, it's Stanis Musashi and today I'm gonna show you guys the Calamity Longsword build! It's finally ready! Do you see this longsword right here? That's right, actually now that's the strongest longsword in the entire game, it's the River Calamity, the Devil Devil Tree Longsword. Now let me show you guys its features. The River Calamity comes with a total attack of 759, with white sharpness if you have at least handicraft level 1, minus 15 person affinity, 210 dragon element and high other seal. So here we have also the affinity increase and health regeneration augments, that are gonna be very helpful and gonna keep yourself healed through the whole fight. Now with all these pieces and skills together we managed to get a total attack of 1030 points with the red bar, and a fair amount of white sharpness, 20 person affinity, 210 dragon element and high other seal, which makes this build a very good choice for when I fight those tempered elder dragons. Now let me show you guys the other pieces that we have in this setup right here. So here we have the Nergiganta Helm Beta, the Kishala Sister Beta, the Case of Embraces Alpha, the Nergiganta Coil Beta, the Nergiganta Grievous Beta, and the Handicraft Tarn 3. Now let me show you guys all the skills that we have together in this setup right here. So here we have the Hassan Recovery that regenerates your health as you continually attack a monster. We have Attack Boost Level 5 that increases your attack by 15 points and affinity by 5%. We have Handicraft Level 5 that increases your weapon sharpness by 50 points, which in this case is enough to give you a complete full bar of white sharpness that gonna last for about 50 hits before going to blue. We also have the Weakness Exploit Skill Level 3 that increases your affinity by 50% when hitting weak spots of the monster. We have Maximum Might level 3 that increases your affinity by 30% when you have full stamina. That's pretty much always. We have Critical Boost level 2 that increases the damage dealt by critical hits to 35%. And that's pretty much it guys. Now I'm gonna show you guys the decorations that are used in this setup right here. So here we have 3 Attack Jewels 1 that increase your attack boost skill. We have 1 Tenderizer Jewel 2 that increase your weakness exploit skill. And we have two critical tools too that increase your critical boost skill. <coughs> now uh, you may be asking, holy crap, three attack jewels one? Who has this? Now if you don't have three attack jewels one, actually you can make a switch here like this. Uh, you can change your helm for the Nergigant Helm Alpha that looks a little bit worse, but uh, you're gonna have with two attack jewels the same amount of uh, attack boost, which is attack boost level 5, and there's no change at all in the build. But uh, I prefer the Nergiganta Helm Beta just for aesthetic purples, but if you don't have 3 attack jewels, you're free to use the Nergiganta Helm Alpha. Now let me go back to the original thing that looks better, of course. So that's pretty much it guys, now I'm gonna show you guys a few tests here in the training arena so you can actually witness the true power of this build right here. So, thank you for watching, and now check this out! So that's pretty much it guys, you can see we're able to hit up to 113 without any attack boost applied. So if you have attack boost applied, you can hit even higher than that, man. This build is incredibly helpful with, uh, with the, the three pieces, the Nergigante and the, regener uh, the health regeneration augment. You're gonna be healing yourself through the whole fight with a very big amount of white sharpness and this is gonna be very, very nice to use. So that's pretty much it guys, thank you for watching, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe for more Monster Hunter videos like that. So thank you for watching guys and until the next episode, see you!